Ken Burns is an American filmmaker who used a style of zooming and panning on photos in documentaries. This helped keep interest and movement in motion films and TV programs, where it'd be too still to have a static photograph. We can recreate a similar effect with images in PowerPoint, using either the grow shrink effect, the motion path effect, or both if preferred. So to recreate this example, we'll take this image here, we'll click on it, we'll go to this drop down that selects more effects, and we'll choose grow slash shrink. And there already you can see a preview of what it's going to do, but we need to make a few adjustments to make it look good. The first one we'll do is set the duration that's default to two seconds, about 20 seconds. Then we'll double click on this item in the animation pane and set the size that it's going to zoom to, to something smaller, about 130, which is 30% bigger than it started. We can also set the smooth end and a smooth start, somewhere in the middle. And then the final thing would be to go to start and choose with previous. That means when you play it, it will start automatically with the slide. Now you can see it's a very slow zoom that looks good. You can also set it to auto reverse if you would like it to zoom out afterwards and then zoom in, so looping. If we double click on this, you can see the option auto reverse. Now when I click on that and press OK, the animation will play for 20 seconds zooming in and then it will zoom out for 20 seconds and then it will continue. You can also add a motion path if you would like to use a pan effect, for example, panning into an area of interest. So to do that, we'd click on the image, we go to add animation, because you're adding an additional animation on top of the grow shrink. We'd add a motion path line. See the default is down. When we click on this, we'll want to pick up on the red dot and move it to where we'd like it to go to. So I might want to pan into this building slightly. And now we'd change the duration to match the grow shrink time, which is 20 seconds. And we'd also change start to with previous, make sure it happens at the same time. Now when we play this, it should zoom in and pan slightly at the same time. And if you want to make the effect more subtle, you can just double click back into this grow shrink, change it to 115 even, that's quite slow. So it's about adjusting the motion path and the grow shrink amount to get the effect you're looking for. 